Hi, it's Jolene from Ride the Wind e-bikes in Sutton, Ontario, and this video is about batteries. The biggest, most expensive, most sensitive part in any electric bike, electric scooter or motorcycle are the batteries. And there are two choices. There is the traditional lead acid, sealed lead acid gel. 90% of them are gel now. And this is the price point of which scooters are advertised at because it's a lot less a lot less so for example the Tao Leo which is a full-size motorcycle the 72 volt 20 amp hour is 3,000 where the 7240 amp is 4,000 3,000 4,000 so with emo there's about a $1,200 difference between going from lead acid to lithium this is a 12 volt, 12 amp hour battery, lead acid, that is in very small 48, the Bajas, the um, Urban S from the Emos, you're not gonna get a whole lot of distance, but 90% of e-bikes come with this battery. This is a 12 volt, 20 amp hour lead acid battery. And they go in 48, 60, 72, and 84, uh, numbers and so that dictates the amount of these cells that you're gonna need so this is only one with the 60 volt you need five of these and they're damn heavy damn damn heavy there's more of them so when people ask can you take these out in the winter time the answer is yes you can but you'd have to remember all the wiring sequence and it's not easy in a lot of bikes you have to pretty much uh, you have to take them apart like a lot it's not just you open a hatch and there's your batteries you can just pull out not at all so you have to be pretty experienced to do something like that so when I have customers that don't have somewhere nice and warm in the winter time that they can keep their bike unless they keep it indoors even a garage is a little cold it can affect the life of your batteries I try suggesting lithium. So this is a 60 volt, 20 amp hour lithium pack. This costs around $1,100. Uh, 72 volt is around $1,500, uh, depending on the amp hours, and it just basically goes up from there. To give you an example, Emo's 72 volt, 45 amp hour lithium pack is $2,500. So these can be pretty expensive. But the benefits of lithium um, are, are everything. The, the reason that you get better distance and better speed from a bike that has lithium in it is because it's 75% less in weight. If you have a 60 volt, 60, bleh, 60 volt bike, you're carrying around an extra 70 pounds just of batteries. So when you've got 19.8 pounds versus 68.9 pounds, that's the reason why you're going to get less speed with lead acid. The other thing is that lead acid, um, it doesn't last as long. It's rated for 300 uh, cycles and lithium is rate rated for a thousand. So basically, depending on how you keep your batteries, meaning temperature, weather, all of that, you're going to have three times more life in a lithium battery. You're going to get you're going to get more speed they also charge a little bit faster and they are easy to take out so when they're easier to take out it means that you can bring them inside because um, it says right on here it doesn't like anything less than minus 10 degrees so if you've got a bike that's sitting outside in the winter time in minus 20 minus 30 and you go to start it up in the spring it's you've, you've damaged it so that's the difference here. And just pan down a little bit more. There's all your batteries you need for a 60 volt. You need five 12s or just one little light pack of lithium. So what else can I tell you? It, basically I say if the budget can afford lithium, then that is absolutely the best way to go. Um, it doesn't mean that lead acids are bad, they're just the uh, less expensive way to go 
um, and the price points are always different. So $16.49 for a Tau Libra versus $24.50 for the Lithium. It's a good chunk of change. Like I said, it's between $800 in Tau models and with Emo it's about a $1,200 difference between those. And um, yeah, so there's just a visual of what you're looking at.